What's up YouTube, Jeff back again from DopeTechDaily.com. Today I'm super excited. We finally got it, the official version of Android 8.0, and it is Oreo. Google announced it earlier today, right after the eclipse. Now I was at work, some of you guys know if you've been following the channel for a while, my main job is as a professor of mathematics and the fall semester starting, but I still grabbed myself an Oreo treat out of the vending machine to go, so I got some pretty busted Oreos. Um, I've only got one left. I figured I needed an Oreo cookie so I could have it in the thumbnail. So if you guys see this crappy single Oreo in the thumbnail, you guys will know that I'm too lazy to go out and buy another pack of Oreos for the thumbnail. We'll see if that actually ends up happening or not. But anyway, let's get into what the video is all about today. Super excited to have Oreo as the official name. I wanna talk about the top five features that you might actually use in the Android 8.0 Oreo upgrade. Now I've seen and given a developer preview for tour. I'll drop a link below if you guys wanna check that out. But this is about the user facing features, namely the ones that I feel like people might actually use in the real world. So the first one that I wanna talk about are notification dots. I talked about this in my developer preview four overview as well. Notification dots are pretty simple. They're these little colored dots on the apps right there. You see I've got one on Gmail, got one on Hangouts, social media, I got one on uh, Flamingo, which is my Twitter app. I've got one on Instagram. All the apps that have notifications show those little dots. I think it's a nice, clean way uh, just to show you that you got something waiting. And it's something that's pretty simple, but adds a nice little bit of uh, UI touch to Android. And it's definitely something I plan to use. Now, the next thing, which goes along with the notification dots, are the revamped app shortcuts. So now if you hold down an app, long press on the app, not only will you see the traditional widget shortcuts there, you'll also see the info tab there. So you can go into an app and get all of its info, notifications, permissions, everything like that, which is definitely a nice feature to have if you're perusing an app and you wanna see if it's perhaps draining some battery or something like that. So I think that's a nice touch. And of course, you know, the widgets still vary depending on what app you actually end up long pressing on. The next thing, which is probably one of the most obvious user-facing features that a lot of people are gonna like is picture-in-picture. Picture. Right now, it's really only available uh, kind of in, in YouTube for the most part. I mean, there are gonna be other apps that'll be coming later, but one of the real downsides to this picture-in-picture picture feature is you have to be a YouTube Red or Google Play Music subscriber in order to actually take advantage of it. The way it works is pretty simple. If you actually have YouTube Red or Google Play Music installed, you just go into the YouTube app, Go ahead and tap on a video like this one and then just go ahead and press the home button and you'll get a picture in picture window here keep this up watch your videos while you open up other apps like flamingo browse twitter basically do whatever you want to do so i think that's a really cool feature when you're done you can drag this to the bottom here and i'll dismiss it and that'll go ahead and turn off the audio on the video and get back to doing whatever you want. So it does kind of suck that you have to be a YouTube Red member or Google Play Music member right now, which is a paid service, um, but you know maybe they'll bring that to other video services and then it'll be useful for everyone. Uh, the next thing are the notifications in Android Oreo. Uh, one of the big things are the ability to snooze individual uh, notifications and also notification channels, which can be accessed from the same menu. So when you're in your notification tray, go ahead and slide a notification over like this You'll see right here the little clock. I can snooze it and I can snooze it for you know various times, one hour is the default, 15 minutes, 30 minutes, two hours, and then you know it'll go ahead and snooze the notification for me. Now, another thing that you can do is if you have a notification and you actually want to look at the settings for that notification, you go ahead and type on the settings icon, it'll show you the various notification channels. Now, notification channels allow you to take basically control over certain properties of that particular app. If you type on all categories, you'll see for Gmail that there are a number of notification channels. You've got my main email address with the mail for that address. I can turn notifications on or off, I can turn if there's a sound or not. Uh, for the miscellaneous inboxes, you've got miscellaneous and the notifications on, attachments are on. If I wanna turn that off for miscellaneous, I can just go ahead and switch that off and then I wouldn't get those notifications anymore. So a lot of the apps that have a lot of notification channels are things like Gmail, uh, the Twitter app, a whole bunch of things where you're gonna get a lot of notifications like social media and email. I think I'm gonna use it a lot. It's a great way to take uh, granular control over your notifications and I think for me, running my YouTube channel and also with getting a lot of work email, this should prove very, very useful for me in my day-to-day -day work. Uh, the next thing is smart text selection, and I've been playing with this since I got the Oreo update. Seems to work really good in the Google app, but doesn't seem to work too good in Chrome. So what smart text selection will do for you 
is basically say if I search for where's the nearest noodles and company, it's a restaurant I like to eat at, it'll go ahead and pull up some information for me. One of those things is the address. Now smart text selection is supposed to give you the option to open that in certain apps when you highlight the text. So say I highlight this entire address right here, which is where the nearest noodles and company is, it should give me a maps option. You see that it does give me a maps option right here when I'm in the Google app. Now, if I do the same thing within Chrome, which I did here, now we're just in the Chrome app, it's the same exact search, and then I go ahead and go ahead and just highlight this entire address again, you'll notice I don't get any maps option. So it's supposed to work throughout Android that you get all these different options to op open in contextual apps, whatever app you might need for that particular um, highlighted text, like a phone call or a location. But right now, it only seems to work very well for me in the Google app. I've tried it in Chrome, tried it in Hangouts and a couple other places. So maybe they'll get that ironed out, but it seems to be useful uh, once they finally do. Uh, the final one is autofill, which also is kind of limited right now. This is mainly targeted at people that use services like LastPass, which I do use. I've signed up for LastPass Premium. If you don't have a password manager, if you're not using two-factor authentication, you really should consider it. Uh, but the, basically right now, the only option is to use Google autofill. The way you do that is to go to system and then go to language and input, advanced settings, and you'll see autofill service right there. You can go ahead and tap on that. And right now you've got two choices, none, or autofill with Google. If you type add service, you'll see it'll open the Play Store and show you no results are found. LastPass did announce today that they're rolling out a beta for people who are on Oreo to test out uh, the integration with autofill and LastPass. I'm definitely gonna sign up with that. Uh, and if you go into the settings, you can also see sort of what things you want to autofill. Personal information, save passwords, anything that's saved in your Google account will then autofill for you. And then the final thing, which isn't something I'm gonna use, but just a bonus, something thing I really think is cool about Oreo, and that are the colored notifications that you have for media. You see the one I had here for YouTube. I was watching the Fandroid video and Oreo, you can see it's a beautiful black and green color. I think it just adds a nice, pretty element to the UI. It's definitely not something that's useful in terms of day-to-day -day getting work done, but just a really cool feature in my personal opinion. All right, guys, so as I said, maybe I'll have a prettier thumbnail, or maybe you'll just see this single Oreo held up like this in the thumbnail. Uh, anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. That's a short overview. Let me know what you guys think about the name Oreo and also what you think about the features. Find me at dopetechdaily.com, Google+, Plus, Instagram, and Twitter. The link's in the description. And I appreciate you guys checking out this video, and I'll see you in the next one. Thanks a lot for watching.